So just in case you ever wanted to pick up your guitar and play it again, let's have a conversation about that. Stay tuned. So Polyphia is back at it again. This time they pulled Steve Vai. Amazing. If ever there were two amazing guitarists, three really, amazing guitarists in one room, we're about to witness that now. This is gonna make me sick. <laughs> Ego Death, Polyphia, featuring Steve Vai. Let's do this.
imagine being one of those, being one of those guys at that moment? Like, I'm standing back to back with Steve Vai, playing with him. I'd be the trumpet player just so I could be there. He's like, yeah! I can learn it. Show me what I can blow into it. I'll figure it out. Just let me sit down and watch this. I love everything about that. Yeah, same. Everything about that was amazing to me. Several things stood out that weren't your typical things you see every day. Number one being Scotty got to play the solo. That was really cool. Tim usually kind of takes center stage when it comes to the solo portion of things. But Scotty stepped up and he crushed it. Amazing job. Amazing. Number two, the cosign that Steve Vai just gave these kids. I love that. I love that he's using his platform, being Steve Vai, and co-signing on a young band, who I say young, I think they've been around for almost 10 years now. Really? Yeah, Luffy has been around. They used to be like death metal when they started. Huh. But they have evolved. And Steve Vai co-signed. Amazing. Number three, when Steve Vai played his solo, he had a couple of moments where you could tell that he keeps up with what's going on in modern music and metal. Oh, yeah. He's not a one-trick pony. He's not a late 80s, early 90s shredder. I mean, that's not what Steve is. He keeps up. And he threw a couple of little riffs in there that if you didn't know better, you would assume Tim probably did. Amazing. Four. At the very end of the song, Steve Vai and Tim Henson are both playing guitar solos that are opposite of one another. But they meshed and sounded good together, and they were not playing the same solo. That was cool as hell. Amazing. That was badass to me. Because you could clearly see where Steve was doing his little slides, but Tim was doing his arpeggios. So excited for Polyphia. That's a huge cosign. Opinion. That's a big deal. I don't know if people realize just how big a deal that is for young guitarists like Scotty and Tim to have God himself. I mean, yeah, literally. Let's be honest. Who's better than Steve Vai? I have many favorites. Alex Skolnick, Marty Friedman. I've got people I love, but when it comes to innovation and just the durability over time to just continually prevail, all the way from Crossroads. He, Steve Vai, I first heard of him when he was in the movie Crossroads and played, you know, the devil, the Rai Cooter. That was the first time I heard that guy, and I knew he was special then. He is still special now. And he has reached that level to where people like Tim and Scotty, excited for you guys. I'm sure that was a big blast. What did you think? Get down in the comments. Let us know what you think of Polyphia, what you think of Steve Vai. Am I, like, in your opinion, overselling Steve Vai? Because in my opinion, he is the god of guitarists now. Like, share. Subscribe. So do the thing. Do the thing. And until the next time, guys, as always, come at me, bro.